Excitement is building as we get closer to Derby weekend. But first, all attention is on the 150th running of the Kentucky Oaks. Sports director Michael Epps is here to give us a breakdown of the big day for the three-year-old Phillies after a big scratch this morning. Mike? Hey, good evening, Marvin and Andrea. Under 24 hours away, so it's exciting. Now, we have seen just one scratch in the Kentucky Derby field with Brad Cox trained Encino out of the race. This morning, we saw our first scratch in the Kentucky Oaks. Tappet Janali is a late defection. One day before the race, T trainer Eddie Milligan said she's a little off in her hind end. They don't want to risk any injury, which, of course, is the right move. So our pretty woman draws into the field. Also, as an also eligible, trained by Steve Asmussen. Candide is the other filly on the also eligible list. Todd Pletcher trying to get a second contestant in the Kentucky Oaks, but he does have Leslie's Rose, who you're seeing on your screen now, won easily in the Ashland here at Keeneland. Didn't face much adversity on that race on Keeneland's opening day. She looked good. Drew post position 14, way on the outside, which is tough, but Pletcher is confident as he tries to get his fifth win in the run for the Lilies. Leslie's Rose done great since the Ashland. Uh, that was a big, big performance from her. Uh, she settled in well. Her Churchill had a good work over the track, so it seems like she's coming into it in good form. I'm not elated with post 14, but uh, hopefully she can overcome it. Traditionally, uh, you know, she's been a good, good horse from the gate, and hopefully she can get an alert beginning and get over and save some ground. Now, with the Oaks being a mile and an eighth, that's not a lot of time for the horses on the outside to hustle, work their way in position before the first turn. With that defection, we see Leslie's Rose getting to the 13th spot, but it's still tough. So we will see if Irad Ortiz Jr. can get it done aboard Leslie's Rose. Now, the runner up in the Ashland here at Keeneland was just FYI. We're going to talk about her and trainer Bill Mott later in sports. But for now, back over to you guys.